Edo State Government has said it will take actionable measures against the impeached Deputy Governor of the state. Philip Shaiwuku was on Wednesday reinstated back to office by Federal High Court sitting in Abuja after the court ruled and declared his impeachment by the State House of Assembly as illegal and politically motivated. There was crisis in Benin City on Thursday after Philip Shaiwu arrived the city from Abuja. Videos posted online show Philip Shaiwu was received at the Benin airport with crowd of supporters and sympathizers from other political parties. Philip Shaiwu in one of the videos and photographs was seen standing outside a vehicle with the front of the vehicle having deputy governor symbol of authority which also stands as vehicle plate number of the person occupying the office of the state deputy governor. Edo State Government under the leadership of Godwin Obaseki in a statement signed and made available by the State Commissioner of Information, Chris Osanenke, said Philip Shaiwu is known for violence and blamed the wanton destruction of lives and properties in Benin City on Thursday on the politician. The statement reads in court thus, the Edo State Government has observed the level of wanton destruction perpetrated by thoughts and elements working in connivance with former Deputy Governor of the state, Philip Shaibu in the guise of purportedly enforcing a judgment reinstating him in office. Shaibu led thoughts through a court road access of Benin City, attacking innocent citizens and unleashing manner on private citizens who are going about their lawful businesses. The state government through this statement is warning Shaibu to desist from this turn to violence in the pretense that he is enforcing a judgment. He is reminded that he is not above the law and is liable for the wanton destruction perpetrated by him and his co-travelers. Shaibu's violent tendencies is well documented and he has been warned at different times by respected figures of society, including the revolt burning monarch to shun violence. We want to reiterate that Shaibu will face the consequences of violence that he has resorted to in pursuit of his aim to return to the Edo State Government House even when he is aware that a stay of execution of the judgment has been filed. We enjoin the general public to become and go about their lawful businesses as government will continue to deploy the instrumentality of the state to restore and maintain law and order in the state in the face of undue provocation. My fellow citizens of Edo State, I come before you today with a grateful heart and uplifted spirit as your deputy governor. For the past seven years, I must say it has not been an easy journey. We have had many struggles and unsettling events that have shook our beloved state. What you have mentioned among these was the illegal impeachment orchestrated by the Dossiers of Assembly, which was not just an affront to my personality, but a direct assault on the democratic value we share. This move was a grave leap towards dictatorship, endangering the very foundation of our democracy. Let me reiterate that this impeachment was conceived solely because of my decision to run for the Edo State 2024 governorship election under the People's Democratic Party, PDP. An ambition which is not just my right as a freeborn home boy of Edo State, but a legitimate right afforded to all Nigerians. It is injustice that the ordering of society is centered, said Aristotle. My life works has been dedicated to serving the people of Edo State with integrity and sincerity. I have served you for seven years tirelessly, uplifting our citizens, stretching democratic institutions, and upholding the principle of democracies and justice. In return, I was deprived my fundamental human right, maltreated, oppressed, and yet remain resolute. As I promise and sworn to an oath to serve not just few individuals, but the people of Edo State. It is injustice which draws strength. Therefore, I wish to thank you. I thank Nigerian police and other law enforcement agencies for their constant and conscious effort to ensuring that peace is maintained in our dear state, especially at this time we are getting ready for 2024 governorship election. Truth has always conquered lies and the rule of law prevail over lawlessness. My confidence in our democratic values shall always stand strong. My name has been vindicated by God. I sincerely want to thank the judiciary who have shown a consistent and upright resolve to defend our democracy. I thank the good citizens of Edo State. Indeed, all Nigerians who believe in democracy and justice and stood with us during this crisis. Tyranny and oppression has no place in our modern democracy. We must resist those who seek to undermine our freedom 
and trample on our rights. To all those trying to frustrate our striving democracy with illicit actions, with the aim of throwing our dear Edo state into confusion. Always remember, posterity will judge you for your betrayal and blunter abuse of office. The voice of the common man remain the, in the hands of the judiciary. And they have once again affirmed that the judiciary remain the last hope of the common man. My appreciation also goes to the religious leaders, traditional institutions, led by our royal father, his royal majesty, Omonoba Nedo Okuapolopolo, Obaeware II, Ogidega, the Obel of Benin, Oba Atope, he said, to the people of Edo State, I reaffirm my commitment to you and to the values that unite us. I am determined to continue to serve you. I will not be intimidated by those who seek to undermine our democracy. I will continue to fight for the rights and freedom of all Edo lights and Nigerians at large. Together, Edo State shall rise as a beacon of hope it has always been known for. Bestowing strength, growth, progress, and prosperity back to the grassroots. Thank you for your wavering support. God bless Edo State. God bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Bring the news in a more digital way.